uh, LCD screens is what I particularly am interested in also from my research and maybe want to tell you first that there's two different kinds of technologies out there. One of them called ferroelectric liquid crystal displays and the second one being based on a pneumatic liquid crystalline phase. Uh, so to distinguish the two, maybe I'm going to tell you where they are commonly used. So ferroelectric liquid crystal displays are commonly used in digital viewfinders for high-end digital cameras and the pneumatic liquid crystalline uh, materials for displays you will find in large screen uh, LCD TVs and computer monitors. And uh, you have maybe seen over the past couple of years that how these technologies have improved in terms of uh, brightness, viewing angle and response time. And uh, there's two different particular technologies in the last 10 years that have been instrumental in getting these better response times and brighter images. And they are called patterned vertical alignment and in-plane switching. So they both make use of the same liquid crystalline material. So both of them use the pneumatic phase. And the one type in-plane switching switches the liquid crystalline molecule, which is like a, basically a rod, around the long molecular axis. And the vertical alignment screen uh, basically flips it exactly the other way around. It basically flips it from a, from a planar state, from a, orient, from a vertical state into a planar state and an in-plane switching flips the molecule within the plane. So this has resulted in faster response times and also in more brightness of these, of these screens. Other effects that have been introduced or principles that have been introduced to, to enhance the response time would be something that's called de jutter processing or um, it's basically a principle where in a short voltage pulse is applied that's much, much higher than is actually required to make these molecules flip either in the plane or from a vertical to a planar state. And this is a, something that will usually get rid of what's called ghosting. So you have an image lag, basically, of a fast moving image, where it seems to be that a guy that sits on a motorbike going from left to right seems to kind of create several shadows behind him. And uh, to get rid of this, this kind of overdrive protocol or de other processing is what's usually applied. Um, Another principle that's, uh, that you will see when you go and buy an LCD TV is the, the picture refresh rate that has been successively increased over the last couple of years, starting at 60 hertz, 120 hertz, and now all the way to 240 hertz. And if you compute that for a little moment, you can think about it, because 60 hertz means you get 60 original images per second. In a 120 hertz LCD screen, you get 120 pictures per second. And in a 240 hertz LCD, you get 240, which pretty much means you get 10 images every 1 24th of a second. Uh, another protocol that has been invented to make the uh, motions even more fluid is a process called uh, 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 motion estimation, motion prediction, where basically images are interlaced that are basically computed. So the, the computer behind your LCD screen is computing an image between two real ones that makes the most sense to be the one in between. So you get a fake image between two real ones, which makes the fluid the motion even more fluid in your LCD screen.